Janitor Podcast. So here to do shows, uh, good evening bitches I guess, I didn't want to do a show today, but I guess we're here. Uh, we're going to do some calls, uh, apparently we're going to do the new like uh, Planet Fitness type challenge with the Arby's and the Bell, uh, and then whatever, whatever else, probably the same old shit, same old bullshit. Oh yeah, prepare for asshole Dwight. That's pretty much what you're going to get tonight. Red line at Atlanta Airport. Yeah, how you doing there? I got a little bit of an issue. Uh, can you repeat a, that? I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I can repeat it. I got an issue with the uh, room on the first floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I keep looking down there, and some very disturbing things are being shown when they open the door. The what? I'm sorry. When they open their door, there's something very disturbing. What's going on? Well, when they open the door first, there's a big right, uh, red light. It glows from inside of the room. And then when I look in there, there's a man, and he's in this full leather outfit from head to toe. And he's spanking, he's spanking the other guy's ass. But they're leaving the door open. That's the big problem. What room? Uh, they're, they're down in 124. 124? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right, I'll have a security... Yeah, or I'll you, give them a call to uh, check that. Yeah, because they won't let they won't let me come in. I do apologize about that. I keep telling them that I'm with the hotel, but they just won't let me in. Uh huh. Alrighty, I'll uh yeah, I'll have somebody right. check that out. What's the ruckus in the background with all the people? Uh, front desk. Oh, is that why the people are yelling? No, nobody's yelling up here. Oh, I hear an African American woman laughing very loudly. Can I talk to her? Wait. Yes, sir. Don't please don't do me. And don't tell me she's not African American. She is, because I can tell. Jamal, how can I help you? Hey, Jamal, how you doing? I need to be transferred over to my uh, brother's room, please. Um, I can't transfer from this phone, so you're going to have to call right back. Why can't you transfer from that phone? Um, it doesn't allow us to. Well, who, does, who doesn't allow you to? The phone. The phone is your boss? It tells you what you can and can't do? Yeah. That don't make much sense at all. I know, right? Tell me about it. So what am I supposed to do now? How can I help you do your job? You're going to have to hang up and call back. I don't really like that arrangement. What else can we do? All right. Um, I don't know. I think that's the only option at this point. Well, what do you mean? That's the only option? Yes, sir. I don't like this at all, just so you know. All right. So are you gonna call back or? Yeah, I'm gonna call back. What are we? What are we? But oh, okay. but All I right, want thanks. but I want some I want some money knocked off of my stay. <laughs> oh, that, you'd have to talk to the manager about that. Well, apparently, I just have to talk to the phone because the phone's dictating our actions right now. Um. Okay. What room are you? Because I'm on a pay I'm on a pay phone? phone right now, and this is gonna cost me more money. Oh, I didn't know you were using. I didn't. I haven't seen a pay phone in years. So I didn't know that they even had those anymore. Yeah, I I, I only use pay phones because because then when I do my transactions, the cops can't track me down. Oh God, that's smart, smart. So right. I'll call back. Uh, uh, I'll call back, but you better have your act together when I call back. All right, thank you. All right, bye. All right, bye. Red Roof Plus, Atlanta Buckhead. How can I help you? Come on, you already know how you can help me. I called back. Okay. Um, what room do you need to be transferred to? I need to be transferred to 120. Alright, hold on. Alright. Hello? 
Hello. Hi, is this room 120? Yes, this is. Oh, good, good. Um, I've been trying to reach you. This is uh, Dwight with the front desk. Yes. And we've been getting some uh, some complaints. They're rather minor, uh, but I just want to touch base with you and go over those complaints with you. Uh, complaints? Yes, yes there ahead. was there was complaints, and they uh, said specifically it was coming from uh, 120. Uh, let's see, complaint number one, and it was more than just one person. That's the only reason. If it came from one person, I wouldn't really bother with this. Um, but they said that there was some loud cursing. Uh, coming from loud inside of your room. Cursing. Yeah, loud enough to where it was heard outside. Okay, it's definitely not our room. We've been in bed for the last hour. Okay. And um, it's definitely not any cursing. Neither my husband or I curse. Okay. Um, and we actually just got back in the room and went right to bed. So it wouldn't be us. Okay. It might be um, well, there's noise outside our door. Yeah, but- well, there's in conjunction uh, with that. Uh, we had a second guest who they said... Uh, there was people possibly having uh, coitus in their room, and they heard a, a female voice saying, um, "I don't want to curse." So I'm just gonna, the shoot. They were saying, "F me harder, f me I'm, harder." I'm, just one moment. I'm actually going to put my husband on the phone. Okay. Just, just one moment. Fine. That's fine. Who's calling, sir? This is Dwight at the front desk. How are you? All right. I'll be on my way there in a moment. Okay, well, I was tr- just trying to address the issues with you. There's no, no reason not, to have to come down. To, we're, we're, no, we're not here to play games. And Oh, we're um, definitely not playing games. It's just we had complaints from two people, okay. so I just wanted to touch base. Right. And you should probably have them come to the front also. Well, I I don't to want to put them in any, ty- any type of danger, so you sound like a hothead. We're professional people. You can have them come to the front. I, right. I, I, I will try to make contact can, with them. Um, but from what they said, they said that you were aggressively fucking your wife, and she was yelling, fuck me harder, and it was coming through the door? I work at the front oh, desk, ma'am. This is my job. It is not a, a game or whatever you're trying to yeah, say it is. Hold on. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I've never heard anybody at the front desk use profanity either. Well, I, I didn't want to curse, okay. but you that's sound that's like a hothead, and I'm, I'm afraid to put other guests in that type of situation to have to confront you about your actions. Oh, I understand. I'm getting a call. I'm getting a call. Okay, why am I talking to two people? She said she was putting you on the phone. Now she's in the back quarterbacking this. What, what's going on? Yeah, what's the number to the front desk? You want the number to the front desk? It's easy. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's 321-1653. No, no, I'm at the front desk, and I dialed the room 120. That's the room I wanted to speak with. Yeah, no, no, I heard you, I heard you. Hey, do you have yeah. any any man, uh, any man or men's uh, currently working down there that they can help me in my room? I would say that again. Do you have any men's or mans that could come and help me in my room and move a, f- a few things, some furniture away from the wall? I, no, I don't. Okay, because I'm, I'm, I've been painting my room. Uh, it's it's a nice luscious red, but the the bed has to be moved away from the wall, and I got to move the uh, TV stands because uh, I got to get behind them to do the painting. Where where are you at? Oh, I'm in my room. In in the hotel? Of course, I wouldn't bother you with this if I wasn't in the hotel. What room are you in? Uh, what. Well, you just said you didn't have anyone to send, so I don't know why you need that information now. Okay, well, have a great night, sir. Okay, I'm going to finish doing this painting. You sure? All right. Why are you, why are you being like that? Microfella ran a perimeter. Why did you snicker at me like that? <laughs> We're playing on my phone. I'm not playing on anybody's phone. I was trying to get some help because I have a hernia, and if I start trying to move heavy furniture around, it's just going to aggravate it. Well, why are you moving furniture around? And I, I'm not moving furniture around. I'm trying to get someone to move the furniture. Cause you I'm just doing said the you were moving furniture around. No, I said I need help to move it because I have a hernia. What are you doing? I'm not drawing what anything. I'm doing? not drawing anything or painting anything. I'm just painting the walls red. I like the red color. <laughs> I, again, don't understand what's so funny. I just need some help to move the bed out and possibly move out okay, the stand. Okay, where are the you at? I'll, I'll help you myself. I'm in room 125. We don't have a 125. What do you I'm, What do you mean I'm not in 125? I'm in 125. That's what I'm telling you. 
We don't have a 125. Okay, where do I find this? Where do I find the number then? Is it on my key card? I can walk outside of your door and look at it. <sighs> walk outside. <laughs> it's always something. Hang on. Is this Jeff? What's it? Who? Jeff. Yes, yeah, Jeff. <laughs> What you doing? <laughs> About to beat you. <laughs> why? What'd I do? Why? What happened? <laughs> Jeff, why are you playing on my phone? <laughs> That's because I'm like a six-pack in right now. You what? I'm a six-pack in right now. I'm just drinking. Oh, God. Sounds good. I thought about coming down and getting a room, though, and actually doing some uh, painting. Like they would totally flip out. Yeah. I was I was gonna paint like a big penis on the wall. Yeah, you can't do that. I know I, I I'm not supposed to do it. <laughs> I mean I wouldn't necessarily say I can't do it. Right. I'm just I'm just saying <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Dig it. What time wait, Dig what time it. do you get off of work? In twenty minutes. Twenty minutes? You wanna go get a drink? Yeah. No, I don't drink. I got some weed. I don't smoke. God damn it! Okay, what vice do you have then? Come on now. I want to. I want to see you get into some trouble tonight. <laughs> you don't smoke. You I don't, don't drink. Oh shit! I got an idea. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? What? Let's run a room and paint that motherfucker. <laughs> no. What color you want to paint it? What's your favorite color? Come on. Jeff, I'm not painting any rooms. Oh, I've smoked I so that. many marijuanas tonight. I just, I want to paint, oh, I want to paint, God. oh shit, I just had a better idea. Hey, do you know, okay, well this is going to go over good. So like, you don't have to paint nothing, just come with me. I got an idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to put on a Speedo and some goggles, I want you to pour paint on me and I'm going to run into the wall. Jeff, you just made my night calling up here with that crap. You know that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll do it in a speedo if you want, but like, I, like I think it'd be even yeah. funnier if I ran like you know balls first into it and there was a ball mark on the wall. Oh my god, you're nuts! God, this this stuff wasn't supposed to get a fucking four loco, man. I drank six four locos, and I am fucked. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. I thought you guys were coming to stay here tonight. Y'all ain't staying. Oh, no, we're staying. Like I said, I still got to go get some paint. <laughs> well, I'll be gone when y'all get here, I'm sure. No, 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 we already got the room. We already got what the room? room. I don't know, like, Heather, Heather booked it. Heather? Yeah. It's one, it's one, of, it's one, it's one of Jeff's friends. The other Jeff. Ah, under whose? Name. I, I think Heather did it. I think Heather. I think she's already there. There's no Heather here. Heather ain't there. What about Jennifer? Uh, Jennifer there? Uh, no. I don't know who the hell. Are you serious right now, or are you playing? Oh no, they're supposed to already got the room. I don't know who who got it though. But I'm glad it's not in my name because that room ain't never gonna be the same. I don't see no Jennifer or a Heather. Well, I'm trying to come down because uh, <clears throat> they're uh, they're voyeurs. You never know what they do. They like people to watch, but not like participate. So I get to watch. <laughs> I'm so with you. You want to watch? No, I'll pass. Come on, you're single, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Well, come <laughs> on. That's what single people do. It's only weird, like if you're married and you're watching. Because then you're visually cheating. This is true, huh? Is this truer than hell? Like, I want, I want to take you out, and like, I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna show you some like real freaky shit. Oh my lord! Because like we watch, because like we can't be in the same room. Like we go in the bathroom and we just peek through the crack of the door at them while they're having sex, and then they give me this chicken, and we're gonna throw the chicken out into the room with them while they're going at it. <laughs> And then, like, just what happens with the chicken happens with the chicken. 
You are insane. You know that? This is, it's just a little chicken. It's not a rooster. It's a little chicken. Gotcha, gotcha. But, like, we got to stay in the bathroom and we got to wait till they finish. Like, we can't walk out there because that's just that's just disgusting. Yeah, dig it. But you come watch, totally. right? You'll come with? Yeah, sure. Okay, like, wait there. Don't don't leave. Like, because we're going to be there in, like, 25 <clears throat> minutes. And I know you said 20. <laughs> you can't take it back now. You've got to go with me. I am not going nowhere, crazy man. You told oh me you were God. going with me. No, Jeff. Oh, no. I love the way you say no to me like that. Do it again. No. Oh, God, I wish you were here to whack me on the nose with a newspaper while you said it. Do it one more time. Shut up, Jeff. God, I'm going to bring you a little squirt bottle, and then you can treat me like a cat, and you go, no, and you squirt me with it right in the face. Oh, I can't breathe. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, I know. You know what? Like, my blood, like, I'm real woozy, because I took one of those little blue pills, and, like, I'm lightheaded, and... All the blood rushed to somewhere else. <laughs> I know I'm trying to pound this thing out before I go to the room. Like, how am I going to deal with this thing? I don't know. <sighs> Maybe the chicken can help. You are insane. You want, hey, can I, I'll bring the chicken to you so you can pet it. You no. want to pet, you want to pet the chicken? I, you don't have to come to the room. I I'll bring the chicken to, to pet you. The chicken. Pet the chicken. Come I on. I don't want to pet the chicken. Come on, pet the, just once, just one I'll, pet. Go, oh, little I'll, chicken, I'll, little chicken. I'll pass. <sighs> oh. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you one more thing before I let you go. All right, I come down the lobby. No chicken, nothing. I be a gentleman. I have my top hat on. Can we go in the janitor's closet and kiss a little bit? Yes, get off of my phone. <laughs> well, that's not a yeah. yes. That's not a yes or a no. No, Jeff. I am making four loco decisions here, and I need some directions. Hold on, hold on. Hold, hold, on, on, hold, hold on, on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Where you go? Hello. Hey, oh my god, you're back. I was so lost. Well, you were gone for like two hours. Like, where did you go? Oh my god, whatever. What do you mean, whatever? You tell me to hold on. Two hours is what I had to wait. It was a whole 20 seconds. 20 seconds? Oh my god, I've been lying to a lot of women when I've been with them. Then I'd be like, oh, we just had sex three hours. <laughs> oh shit. I need to start apologizing to somebody. Um, do with you. Oh my god. Will you help me write apology letters? <clears throat> sure. Okay, get a pen. Um, we'll write them tomorrow. I can't write them right now. I have a banging headache. You got a banging headache? So you oh, so you can't write? No. You know what's good for a headache? What? You know. No, I don't. Oh, you know. I don't know. Aspirin. <laughs> this is true. And then you get to have the, then you get to have the sex. And you are such a nutcase. I'm a, I know it's because I'm a virgin. Whatever. You don't believe me? No, Jeff. No. Oh God, I love the way you say that now. Now you've got me aroused. Can you say oh, it again? Say God. it again. Say it again. Come on. But put a little more put a little <laughs> more oomph into it. No. Come on, say it like you mean it. No. 
Okay, no, you you pretend like I'm Joe Biden and I came up behind you and I'm grasping your boobs and I'm kissing your neck and you go say, "Oh no, Jeff, say it like that, like you mean it." Oh my! Like I was like I was sniffing your neck and your hair. No. Yeah, see, you're doing it now, but you need to do it louder and with oomph. Jeff, hush. That's a little more like it. But you gotta go, no, Jeff, no. Like I was a bad little doggy. What? Nothing. What? Okay. Well, I'm gonna let you go, and I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down. Fall down the stairs real quick. Uh, shut up, Jeff. Boy, that sounds like fun. I'm gonna take one of the beds out of the room and I'm gonna ride it down the stairs. Do it. I'm gonna do it. You want to come over? Cool. You want to ride too? It'd be like a sled. No. Don't you cool beans me? I'll cool beans you. <laughs> Oh, um, Jeff, you got me being loud in my lobby. Get off my phone right now. Oh, it doesn't matter because I'm not really Jeff. Yes, you are. I'm not Jeff. Yes, you are. I had the same conversation with a lady who thought I was her son and yelled at me and told me, she goes, you're my son. I'm like, no, I'm not your son. And she, to this day, still thinks I'm her son. I see. <laughs> uh, gotta go, Jeff. Okay, I'm not Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Bye, I'm not Jeff. Oh, I'm Mr. Rich. Yes, hello? Hi, sir. Hi, how are you? Good, and you, sir? I'm pretty good. Uh, I have a little bit of an issue, not necessarily a complaint, um, but it's something that my handicapped son has brought to my attention. Uh, you know the, yes, bell, the bell in there that you ring, right, for uh, when you're leaving, if you're satisfied? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, well, my, my son, he's a mute, he's a deaf mute, and he didn't tell me until the end, like, he wanted to ring the bell, but he's physically not able to. Um, I'm going to put him on the phone here, I'm going to turn that speakerphone. Could somebody uh, can somebody ring it for him, like, you know, uh, for about a minute and a half? Because it's his birthday as well. Hello? Yes, hello. Oh. Yes, you're, you're calling. This is Ivy Perich. Yeah, yeah. Um, but my handicapped yes. son, it's his birthday, and he wasn't able to ring the bell. I need somebody to go ring the bell for like a minute and a half to celebrate his birthday. Oh, we don't we don't have a bell with us at this time. Well, where'd the bell go? Sorry about that. Uh, we're actually located inside Perich. We're not um, in drive through I didn't accuse you of being in drive through No, 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 no. I know, sir. But um, we don't have the bell here. Who st- who stole the bell? No one stole the bell, sir. The bell's gone. No, no, no. Um, I know we're supposed to have that, but um, we don't actually don't have the bell with us. My son, at this my time. S- my son, he needs the bell. Oh. Okay, listen. No, okay, listen. Listen. I want to be honest with you. I stole the bell. Hello. Hey, sir. I stole the bell. You stole the bell? Yeah, it's because my son is very, very sneaky, and I wanted to put it around his neck so I know where he was at all times. Yes, sir. So I took the bell, and I'm really sorry. Will you ring my bell? You're not very talkative. You're not a real people person, are you? I think you might be in the wrong uh, line of work. I'm sorry, sir. Um, yeah, I think you are. You need to apologize to me at least three more times. I'm sorry about the bell, sir, and that you stole the bell. Okay, now you need to apologize for me stealing the bell two more times. Um, comes to my attention. Would you like to speak to my manager? No, 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 you're doing just fine on your own. I need two more apologies from you for me stealing the bell. Okay, I'm sorry, sir, for being too forward. Okay. Well, you weren't, you weren't too forward. For, it's okay. The, for uh, this call. And you're sorry for the call? Okay, that's great. Yes. Now, can you tell me, uh, if you were to take your shirt off, do you have a brassiere on? Arby's Hot Meal. Yes, hello. Arby's Hot Meal. Uh, hot Meal? No. 
I have an issue. Uh, my son was in there earlier. Uh, you may have seen him. He was in a wheelchair. Uh, he had a scumfuck tattoo on. and uh, But he's uh, a deaf mute, and he's not able to ring the bell in the lobby on his way out. And he just wrote down, and he told me about it, and it's really emotionally disturbing him. And we were wondering if somebody could ring the bell for him. Are you serious? I'm sorry? Are you serious? Yeah. Well, he's handicapped. And he doesn't talk, so when we got back, I could see something was really wrong. Like, he was crying, he had tears, and I asked him, I told him to write it down, and he wrote down the whole thing. He said that because he can't move his arms very well, that he couldn't Uh ring the bell. And I didn't know about Uh it until I got back, so of course I didn't get to ring it for him. He just wants to know, because it's his birthday, if somebody could ring it for like a minute and a half for him. I guess I could ring the bell for him right now. Oh, great, I'm going to put it on speakerphone for him, because he doesn't talk. But like, if you could, I'll time you for like a minute and a half, because that's what he wanted to do. A minute and a half? I can't well, it's his, that. Well, it's his birthday, that's why. It's like, it's a celebration thing, too. I, I know, but I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a drive-thru. Yeah, but that, no, um, that, that's okay. That's okay. When you have to go back, if it's if it's less than a minute and a half, that's fine. You can go back. But I'm gonna try to make his birthday wish come true because you know we were supposed to take him to Disney and then plans fell through because his mom left and she took the house. We had to give her alimony. It was the whole big thing. So I'm trying to make this uh-huh. birthday special for him. Okay. So I'm, I'm putting you on speakerphone right now. All right, he's All gonna right. he's gonna ring the bell for you. Oh, that was only three whaps. Yeah, keep it going. Yeah, he's... He, ah, ah. Keep going. Yeah, you got another minute. Yeah, 35 seconds. Yeah, it's, it's down to 25. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, keep it going. Go, go, go. More, yeah. Keep going. Another 10 seconds or so. Yeah. Nah, I gotta go. Ah, shit. Okay. All right. All right, bye. Hi, I don't know who this is. Can you please stop calling? Nope. Where's Lexi? Who is Lexi? You know who Lexi is. Come on. Where's Alexa? I don't know an Alexa. I'm sorry. Oh, did you get drunk and or high last weekend? No. Then why were you calling my number after midnight waking the kids? I don't know who this is. I'm sorry. That's right, because I'm a telephone stalker. You're a telephone stalker? Yeah, I'm in your phone right now. I'm looking through your camera. Hey, don't look at me all weird. Hello? Ballard, Ballard in? Yeah. There's a problem with my bathroom. Oh, I'm sorry. It's it's really really weird. So like when I'm when I'm in the room, you know, over by the bed and stuff, uh it doesn't happen, but when I go in the bathroom it does. Okay, what what happened? Oh, when when I go into the bathroom, like I hear my voice repeating like a couple different times. Oh, like an Echo? Uh, no, no, I don't own an Echo Dot. No, I, I don't have one of those with me, not on vacation. Uh, but no, see, like, when I'm in the regular room, I'm in the living room, or the living area, like, when I talk, it's normal. But then I go into the bathroom, and it's like, it's repeating. And it throws me off. It fe- I feel like there's somebody else in here. Oh, um, and I'm sorry, what room are you in? I'm in 225. You're in... Two, two, five? Yeah. We don't have a room number two two five. Are you are you two zero two? Yeah, two oh two. I'm sorry, I'm dyslexic. Okay, so you said you're in room two zero two. Two oh two, yeah. And I don't know what the deal is with the like. I don't. You called it an, an echo. Yeah, like in the bathroom. You know how, like, sometimes it's just, like, because of the walls could be so high, sometimes there's, like, an echo? Oh, okay, because, like, so you're saying Amazon does this to your bathrooms? 
No, I'm not talking about the device. I'm talking about, like, the sound wave bouncing back. Okay. Now, yeah, because I was just a little confused because I see this. It looks like an air air vent thing up here. And, like, I was looking in there because I thought maybe somebody was in there. But it looks, I, I don't know, almost like a tunnel-ish type. Should I go in there? No. Hang on, um, hang on a second. That, no, yeah, I, hang on, a, hang on a second. I'm gonna climb in. Hang on. I'm gonna keep um, the phone on. I'm gonna keep the phone on. So stay with me here. Sir, uh, what's your last? It's a tight name? ass fit. Okay, I'm in, and there's a there's an elbow. There's a left turn. Oh my goodness, uh, sir. What's your last name? Uh, uh, my last name. My last name is Smith. Now it seems there's a left turn, but there's a T. Like, I can't go straight anymore, but there's a left and a right. Which way? Right, okay. Okay, go right. Um, Hang on. Let me make this squeeze. <clears throat> All right, I was, able, I was able to make the right. Uh, where does this take me, anyway? So you said, what's the reservation? Uh, Smith is my name, Smith. Ooh, that's, Is there anybody listed that's a drop. That that's a drop. What a reservation? No, no, I don't need to make a reservation. I'm already here. Now there's a there's a there's an airway going down. We're gonna send somebody upstairs to your room, but we need to confirm the last. Just send them in the vents. I'm already in here. I need a guide. Okay. Okay, sir. Um, What's the last for your reservation? I've never been this drunk before. What? My last name is Smith. Okay, and then is there anybody else staying with you? Uh, yeah, Kevin Kevin Johnson. He's the one that probably reserved it. Somebody needs a clean up here. I swear to God, there's a lot of dust. Okay. All right, so we're going to send housekeeping and our manager up to your room. No, you, think you need like an HVAC certified person to do this job. Okay. So we'll send somebody up to your room. And can you confirm your room number again, please? Uh, 202. But I'm not current. I'm in the vent. I'm not sure which room I'm above right now. Okay, so we will we will send somebody over to your room, okay? Okay, how long? Uh, give me maybe about less than 10 minutes. Less than 10? Mm-hmm. Okay. Otherwise, call back, okay? All right. I, got, I don't got much battery on this thing, but I'll do what you say. You're the one in charge. Okay. I love the way you call me, sir. Help! Wendy's Iaya. Yes, hello? Hi, this is Wendy's in Iaya. Oh, I'm glad you answered, Jesus Christ. I've been calling and it wouldn't let me through. My brother went into your uh, to your restroom. Uh, he was going to order something to eat. In the... He somehow got up into the ducts above the, above the, the restroom. And he's three-way yeah, he's three in, three way in with me right now. And he's telling help. me to get him some help. So I need somebody to go check on him. Get me out of here. I'm on the mainland. I can't do anything about him right now. Get me out, motherfucker. No, that's impossible. I don't have any ducks in here. Yeah, there's a vent. No, 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 no. There's no vent big enough for a human being to crawl into in my ceiling in my bathroom. He said he got in there. Yeah, so I'm looking at my ceiling right now, sir. There is no, there are no vents big enough for a human being to crawl into. But let, let me Ant let me Man. check with let me check with I'm him. Ant, my name is Ant Man. Are you pretending to be a superhero again? I'm Ant Man. Tell him I'm Sorry? Ant Man. He Ant he Man. he claims he shrunk himself and he was able to get into the vents. Okay, well this is uh, I'm telling you right now there are no vents in my men's room that are big enough for a human being let, to let me, fit into. Let me ask you. Did you go in through the bathroom, or did you go on the roof again? The roof? I'm, I'm asking him. Hang on. Oh. I'm the size of an ant. You, you're not the size of an ant. You're 230 pounds. Did on you go... Floor. Did you I go? have a special belt, and I push the button. Hi, how are you? Uh, uh, sir, to tell you the truth, I think he went in through the roof and got into the vents. You went there's in where? A, I think he got ladder. on the roof. There's a ladder out on the side of the building. No... There shouldn't be any way to get on top of my roof. That would be a huge liability for us. There's a ladder on the side of your building. Okay. What I'm, what I'm going to need... Yeah, yeah. We I'm, need... I'm, I'm outside now. Hang on a sec. All right. Pull your pants down.
Is the, is the ladder still there? Or you didn't bring it up on the roof with you, did you? No, I kicked it over. So because no ladder, because this no ladder anywhere uh, anywhere. Yeah, sir. Th- this this isn't the first time he's done this. He's been banned he's, for pretty much all McDonald's in the area. These Kanakas. Are you looking? Stolen. Are you talking to a McD- Okay, this is not a McDonald's. I know. Wendy's. I know it's Wendy's, but I'm saying he's okay. done this before. But he's done it to McDonald's. Okay, there's no ladder anywhere uh, uh, on. Outside of my building. He drags it up on the roof with him so people don't know. That's the problem. That's why I'm asking him. It's a rope ladder. No, that's impossible. You're impossible, Unless, dude. unless you want to call the police and have them come out here, that's the only thing I'm going to recommend you do. There's no rope in, ladder. Well, There's impossible. no rope ladder to my building. Well, No, he brings, he manufactures these himself. Now he you said, his own "Rope ladder." Yeah. Look, yeah. you're going to have to call the police one way or the other here. Why? Because there's no way on top to get for me to get on top of my building. Okay. Get up, motherfucker! Get me out of here. Okay. Um. He says he he well, feels. I got to put you on the phone with somebody else. Okay. Hey, listen. Oh. You got to talk to this guy. He, he's claiming he's on the phone with his brother. He's claiming his brother is somehow on our roof, stuck in a vent. Oh, thank you. Call the police. That's what I'm doing. And he's not... Don't, don't call the fire. Yeah. He's not the stuck. He, of the he's not, st- call the police he's not stuck. The he needs directions on how to get out. Look, you got to call the police. Oh, you look, motherfucker, you. Okay. While you were talking to the GM, he just told me that he, he fell through the ceiling of the bathroom. <laughs> That's impossible. There's no way for anything to fall through my ceiling of my bathroom. He said he yeah. came right through the drywall. I'm a big guy. Oh. No, there's nobody in my bathroom. Okay, because this, this is the five guys on Hollywood Drive, right? No, this is Wendy. Oh, shit. Got the wrong place. Yeah, hello? Hello? I, I have a problem. What happened? The, the, yeah, what happened is exactly right. Uh, so my brother, my brother came in. Uh, he had Taco Bell, and he said it was delicious. But he went in your bathroom <laughs> because he had explosive uh, poopies. And so, like, he said that the fan kicked on in there. And the suction was so much, it sucked him up into the vents, and he's on the phone with me now. I got him on three-way. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, we don't have <laughs> public restroom. No, no, he used, he was a customer. He was yeah, a cu- but we don't have public restroom. Yeah, yeah, but he went in the restroom anyway. He didn't care. And, and he said the fan, the fan turned on, and it sucked him up into the ceiling. He's in the ceiling now. But where, up, where are they? Where I'm in the ceiling. Help, help. Yeah, see, I'm on the mainland. He called me. He said to call you, so I got him on three-way. He's in your ceiling. What do I do? Let me out. Hello? Ma'am? Hello? He's stuck in the ceiling. He's on the phone with us. Where is he? He's in your ceiling in Taco Bell. The fan in the bathroom sucked him into the ceiling. What? Help. He's in the vents above the above everything. Uh, All the vents. You know vent? At, at the back? No, no. In the he was in the bathroom. Okay, follow me. Follow me. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna lead you. You know bathroom, right? Yeah. Okay, you know the fan in the ceiling that kicks on to keep the smell from you know disrupting all the customers and smelling like your food normally? From the shit. You know, it, it vents, uh, it vents, it sucks all the all the nastiness up and it vents it out. Hi, uh, hello. Hi. Hi, how, how, can I help you? how are you? Good. Yeah. Um, I have a problem in my room. You have problems with your room? I have all kinds of problems, but yeah, you, you handle the room problems, right? Um, are you already checked in? Yeah, I've been here for two days now. What's your room number? I'm staying in 325. 
Room 325. Yeah. That's not our room number. It's not a room number? No, our third floor is the parking structure. Oh, uh, hey, so I'm, not, I'm not there. I so my I, rooms are either 1, 2, or 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I don't have any rooms on the third floor. Oh. Are I'm you in, staying I'm at the in, Plaza Hotel or yeah, the, the Plaza, or airport the Plaza hotel? is where I'm staying. I'm in 2. 2. 2 what? 2... 22. Okay. Uh, Mr. Galea? Galea? Yeah. Galea. Okay. Galea. Pico okay. Dough. What kind of problems do you have? What problem? Oh, the, of my toilet? Your uh, toilet. My toilet. It was, um, there was a slow le- leak. And like, I, I okay. didn't want to bother you with it, so I took it apart and and try to fix the leak, and now the toilet won't go back together. You tried to fix the leak, and now the toilet... Yeah, the, the, it was leaking somewhere, so I took it okay. all apart. And okay. now I try to Is put it back like- together, and won't work. I was never very good at Legos. So okay, so do we need housekeeping to mop it up first? Not just the maintenance? Uh, no, I need a whole new <laughs> toilet. It, it's in pieces and it's laying on my bed, and now my bed's wet too. Okay, you know what? Uh, it's maintenance, and then you might have to change your room then if it's that bad. Yeah, they're going to have to do something about this bathtub because I've had way too much to drink. And I'm, okay, I'm, I don't think we can I'm, fix the toilet today, so. I'm squatting. I'm um, squatting. Uh, hey, shut up! I'm, squ- I'm squatting in the bathtub and I'm pooping. Okay, let me send maintenance, and then um, we might have to change your room somewhere okay. nearby. Who's gonna change my underpants? I cannot help you there, sir. But I made a mess, and it's because the toilet wasn't available. Okay, let me send somebody though. Okay, I just took I just took all the towels that I wiped my butt with and I put them in the hallway so somebody can collect them. Okay, let me send somebody. Okay. That is smell. Okay. Thank you. Uh. 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 Hello, Pacific Marina Inn. How can I help you? Hi. Yeah. Look, there's no toilet paper in the bathroom. I'm sorry? There's no toilet paper in my bathroom, so what I had to do was I sat down on the floor, you know, uh, with my bare butt, and then I scooted everywhere until it until it, it stopped smearing on the floor. What room are you in? Uh, it's like two-something, I don't know. What's the last name? Uh, lemon jello. So you're in two fifty. Yes. And there's no, there was no toilet paper, so I sat down like my dog does this. I sat down on the on the on the floor, you know, on the carpet, and then I scooted my butt back and forth until there was no more streaks. But uh, it now there's like poo poo everywhere on the ground. Yeah, um, you could call down the front front desk to we could have gave you some. Yeah, but um, but, but I use the carpet instead, you know. Okay, but now um, it smells like caca. Okay, give me a second. Can you okay. please have a- All right, you have a steam cleaner. Hey, how are you? Um, my brother, he just called me. Uh, I'm on the mainland, uh, but he says he's at your hotel, and he's uh, somehow he's he's on the elevator, on the top of the elevator. I'm on the elevator. And he's, la, la, la. he said we got to figure out a way to get him down. Oh, he said he's in the elevator. On top of the elevator. On top of the elevator. Yeah. Help! One more, one Help! Moment, one moment. Help! One moment. One moment. One moment. Okay. Help! Hello. Yeah, ma'am. He he's he's up there, and he says he can't figure Hello? out quite how to get back down. Help! Help! 
Ma'am, ma'am, your phone, your phone is, it's not very good. Elevator machine. Hello, ma'am. Hello? Yeah, hello. Are you going to help with this situation? There's no one in the elevator. No, no, he's on top. I'm on top. Help me. Get me out of here. On top? How did you get there? I, I opened the panels on the top. I climbed on top. Because it wouldn't go, now it's going. Ma'am, he forgets all the time that he's got to push the button to make it go. Help. Can you try going back in the elevator? No, I'm scared. <laughs> okay, one more. Let me, let me just check our elevator. Okay, so, so, okay. So, I don't know, I can't see. I'm in, I'm on the top. What floor did you get on? What floor did you get on to the elevator? On the first floor. The first floor. <laughs> so what's your name? Uh, what is your name, sir? You're stupid. My, my name is Lemon Jello. Did you just check in with us? Lemon Jello. Hello. His name, ma'am. His name is Le- his uh, first name is Lemon, and the last name is Jello. Did he just check in with us? Uh, did you did you check in or are you? What's going on, brother? Not yet. I'm just. I just came in in the fucking elevator. Shit. It's not a, me not all a time. kid, ma'am. Let me let me be honest with you here, real quick. He 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 doesn't have a lot of money, so he tries to curt the cost when he goes on these vacations. This is not the first time that he slept on top of an elevator. Before on yeah, the what he does is he brings a pillow and a blanket with him and he finds his way to the top of the elevators and he just sleeps there so he doesn't have to get a room. And you're currently on our stay hotel? I, I'm not. He is. I'm on the mainland. Well, he, can I get um, your, your, the person that's stuck? Um, can I get the name, please? Yeah, his, his name is Lamon. L-E-M-O-N. And the last name is Jello, J E L L O. Lemon Jello. Lemon. And the last name is pronounced Yellow. It, the, the, yeah, it's Yellow. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not the first time we've heard that either. I, so I don't have. Um could you spell the last name again? I well, it's it's have, it's guess. not going to help you. He, like I told you, he doesn't. He's not. He doesn't have a room there. He does this all the room. time. I just came but, in this, and I find a quiet place to stay. Because he said that the elevator going up and down kind of reminds him of the water, and it's relaxing. Because he was a seaman. Okay, so uh, right now we're going to investigate, and if we have to call the cops, we will. Uh, we'll investigate what? Shit, Excuse me. You ain't gonna do shit, motherfucker. Okay, well, don't get don't get rowdy with them, brother. Come on now, like they're trying to help you. What what do you mean investigate, ma'am? I've been trying to give you information. Okay, so we're gonna go check the elevator and see right now if we could try opening the panel on the top. Right. So you're gonna see if you could see him. Yeah. So, did he leave the panel on the top closed or open? I don't know. I ask him. Okay. Close. Whoa, did that woman just curse? Okay, hold on for one minute. Oh, I just thought I heard a woman cursing. Hurry up, fucking. Hello? 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 Hello?
Hello. Hello. Hi. So we tried checking our elevator. Um, we also we we tried to like call out, but uh-huh. we don't hear any response. Did you didn't answer them? No. Okay. Why why are you playing games? They're trying to help you. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay, ma'am. Is he in any trouble at this point? Most likely, yes. For trespassing. Well, fuck you then. I ain't saying shit. I'm staying up here. Come, come, no, no, come on, Lamont. It, it's just trespassing. You just won't be able to go back. C- I'm gonna smoke a cigarette up here. Yeah, so we, um, we actually can't see anybody up there. Uh huh. Because you're stupid. Yeah, so I'm, it might be um a wrong property. Uh, he says he's no. He gave me the property name. That's what I called here. The hotel Wikiki. You're right. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and call my boss. Get, uh, get, uh, you're not. You're not supposed to be smoking. You have emphysema. You can't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my uh, hotel manager know and see if we could get um, someone to check it out right now. Because right now. But I thought I you just have... checked it out. Can I get room we service? We did check it out, but when we tried to call or like room service to get a response, we don't hear anything. He says he, he says he wants room service. He says he needs a sandwich. Give me a couple beers, okay. a couple Bud Lights. He said he wants a BLT with a couple Bud Lights delivered. To tell you the truth, ma'am, if you had a couple Bud Lights and a BLT and put it in the elevator, I'm pretty sure he'd come down. Yeah, in a hot minute, man. I love sandwich. Ma'am, can you do this? Make me a sandwich. Yeah. No, I'm saying if you had a couple Bud Lights and a BLT sandwich, he may come down. Or pineapple. No, we we cannot. We just have to call a box to see what to see what can we. But you you have a kitchen right that does that does delivery. You got the the to the keepings. What do you mean? Room service. You do room service, right? Yes. Okay. I think he'll come down if you take a BLT sandwich and a Bud Light and put it in the elevator. Okay, but... Can you give me some coconuts? Coconuts. Coconuts? Coconuts, yeah. Would you come down for a co- Would you come down for a coconut? Oh, yeah. I'll come down for coconuts. Okay, just one moment, okay? One moment. Do you have a coconut? <laughs> hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Hi. So, is your friend still stuck on there? Because uh, we've been trying to call out to them through the elevator, and we can't hear. Did you heard? I heard. I heard. Yeah. Did you bring in the coconut? Oh. <laughs> I heard them. Okay. So, um, how exactly did you get up there, sir? I uh, what? How exactly did you get in or uh, above the elevator? I pushed up on the ceiling and, and you climbed up. Yes. I have big muscles. I I, I do CrossFit. I did a muscle up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Shout for I me. Sm- I smoked a I'm cigarette. Gonna you- I okay, smoked I'm gonna ask you to shout for me in I have seconds. fireworks. I can let off some fireworks. Okay, I'm gonna just ask you to um, shout for me in five okay. seconds. Okay, so bring in the I coconut, ma'am, and coconut. this would all this would all be over if you had the yeah. coconut. Do you have coconuts? Okay, so in. All right, I'm gonna light fireworks. Shut up. Listen. Are you ready? Are you listening? Okay. Can you scream? Fireworks! Right now? Shut up. Okay. Can you scream right now? Fireworks! Uh, happy there! Ah! Ah! Okay, you find me? Hello? Hello, ma'am? I'm knocking on the, on the, on the wall. Hello, 
Oh, ma'am. Ma'am, were, were you able to pinpoint him? Hello? Yeah, uh, ma'am, we got disconnected. Oh, okay, okay. One moment, we're just checking, okay? One moment. Okay, well, did he yell for you? Yeah, we're having someone to check on it right now, so we have we need uh, we need someone. Hey! To bring, bring the coconut. Bring the coconut, and he'll come hey! out. Coconut. What do you mean by bring a coconut? He see he went, the reason he went is because he said he's never seen a coconut, an actual true coconut. And I think if you have one, he'll he might come down because he wants to look at him and inspect it. I want to I want to touch the coconut. Coconut. <laughs> Hello. Hello, ma'am. Holy shit, did you just kick your way back through the elevator? Oh, Hello? Hello? Yeah, and uh, my car? Uh, you tow? Uh, okay, well, is this for Geico, or you think your car got towed off of some property? Uh, pra property, uh, tow. Oh, okay, where... Where do you think your car got towed from, sir? 7-Eleven. Uh, 7-Eleven? By, uh, where, s where? by Safeway. By Safeway. Uh, what Safeway is this, sir? Uh, sa uh, Safeway. Right, uh, um, you know, sa you know uh, Safeway? <laughs> yes, but with, there's, there's like 100 Safeways on the island, sir. I got to know a better Safeway than that. In Kalihi, in Pearl City, in Aihea, Waipahu, where where do you think uh, your car uh, got towed from? Ha Honolulu. Honolulu? Yeah. It towed. Okay, no, I don't have what type of car do you think you got towed? Well, what kind of car are you looking for? Oh uh, it's a it's a Yeep. Happy people. Okay. Hello? Uh yeah, hello. Yes, it's a Yeep. Happy okay. people. Hello. It's a jeep. Uh, what color is uh, it? It's, uh, it's uh, blue. Blue jeep. Uh, it's a jeep. Blue jeep. No, sir. I'm sorry. I don't have any blue jeeps in my yard. Uh, where it go? Happy people. Huh? Where it go? Why? I have no idea. What you got to do is people? call 911. A uh, what? No, I, I, it's a jeep. Blue. Yes, a jeep. We don't have a blue jeep, so what I'm trying to tell you what to do, so listen to what I'm saying. Okay, you, okay? I, okay, okay I, I listen. Shut up and listen. I listen. Okay? Happy You're people. Call 911. Happy people. Happy people. I need my jeep. I need my jeep. You need your jeep? My jeep my is blue. Happy what? people. What do you like to play number? Uh, it's Y, uh, 2, uh, it's a 4, uh, 2, 3A. It's a yeep. Uh, yeep? Where the thing was towed from? Uh, it was uh, by the Safeway. Safeway, Happy which people. one? The, uh, down, uh, the one downtown Haru. Uh, it's at uh, um, uh, Pali, Pali Highway. Okay, what time was towed? Uh, uh, half hour, half hour ago, uh, blue yeep. Okay, this, 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 this might be your jeep, but I think they were painted in white. Uh, it's rent, it rent or uh, it's white? Yeah, we only have a white jeep. Uh, huh. I, I believe my auto dispatcher already told you we don't have it. It's a white a white jeep. Yeah, we got a white jeep. We don't have no blue jeeps. The uh, uh, license plate uh, uh, it's, it's, is it's uh, S. The, uh, the license plate is S uh, uh, P uh, three R M uh, and uh, five. Okay, yeah, I win them on, brother. Sperms. Okay. Okay, where is the yeep? The yeep? The yeep's on top of the mountain. What, the mountain? What? Uh, we should do those old... You remember those old pranks where we would call uh, car rental places and tell them we were, like, really late for our flight, so we just left the fucking car at the fucking airport? Yeah, <laughs> yeah We yeah. just left them at the airport at the fucking... Uh, Depart <laughs> departure fucking lane. Like we just left the keys in it. They need to go get it. Like people were getting so pissed about that. We should pull you a couple of those. Say on. You left a curbside. <laughs> left it on the tarmac. You can't fucking stop a car at curbside without fucking keys to come down. Oh, you want to talk about getting towed? 
They do it you quick. You see the rental with the car running. <laughs> It's just, um, it's, I'm on my way. I'm, I'm fucking. I'm on my way to the gate. <laughs> the fucking car's yeah. out there. Hello, this is Joshua from Enterprise. Tell me how are you. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, no, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I was just letting you know that uh, that I'm running really, really late uh, for my flight, and I couldn't make it to your offices. So the car is sitting over at curbside on uh, on deep. Or I'm sorry, uh, departures. So where is the vehicle? Uh, it's in the, in the departure lane. I parked it and I grabbed my suitcases out and I went inside because I had to check in with TSA. Okay, so when did you do that, sir? When did I do that? Uh, I would say about 10 minutes ago. I'm still waiting in line here. Okay, so if the vehicle is not there um, and if it was told you may be responsible or you will be responsible for the tow fee. No, no, I left the keys in it. It was running. If somebody needed to move it, they can move yeah. it. I understand, sir, but you haven't returned the vehicle yet, and if a vehicle is left unattended in the terminal, yeah, a lot of times the vehicle gets told immediately. No, 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 this is your notification that I've returned it. Sir, your your vehicle isn't returned, and you're still responsible for the vehicle. Well, well how's that? I'm no longer in possession of the vehicle. Like, literally, in a half hour, I'm going to be on a flight back to the mainland. I understand, sir, but your contract is still open right now. And we haven't received a vehicle at our location yet, so I'm gonna try to send my guys out there. Right, right, right. right. That's why I'm telling you, come, come get it. I understand, sir. But if it's not there, you are gonna be responsible for the toll fees if it was told. Well, I left the I left the key with the valet the valet guy. There's no valet in the terminal, sir. No, there was a nice gentleman. He said that he would park it for me. I gave him the keys. Okay, so if that gentleman. Sir, do you understand that you left the vehicle with someone that you do not know? He's a valet. He, he works for the airport. Um, the, the airport does not have valet and valet people. Oh. I'm just letting you know, sir, if anything happens to the vehicle until we're able to pick it up. Okay, wait a minute. No, you, you hang on. You, no, you got me concerned now. Hang on. I'm getting out of line here real quick. Uh, let me cart my shit. Give me, like, give me like a minute here. I can get right back over by the doors. I wish you guys would have told me this. Like I didn't. I didn't need the surprise. Well, sir, we we don't tell anybody to leave the vehicle in the airport. That's not. That's not. Uh, okay. Let's. See. Um. No, it's gone. Where do they valet these things at? Sir, there's no valet in the airport. There's no valet. Okay, so who who did I give these keys to? Sir, I don't know who you gave the vehicle. He had a jacket on. It looked like a professional jacket. It said valet. I'm not too sure who you gave the vehicle, sir. Do you have the rental agreement or the license plate of the vehicle? It was in the car. Did you pick up the vehicle, sir? Or was it somebody else? No, I picked it up. I mean, there was this. I give, I give the keys to a black guy in an Apollo shirt. What is your last name, sir? My last name is Johnson. Johnson. And when did you pick up the vehicle? Uh, I picked up the vehicle on Thursday. Thursday the fourth. Yep, that'd be the day. And what? type of vehicle was this? Uh, I'm not good with cars. I I couldn't tell you what it was. I can't tell you a, a Chevy from a Nazuki. Okay, what is your name, sir? Last name's Johnson. What is your first name, sir? Oh, Kevin. I have five Johnsons. Yeah, it's Kevin. In the past five years. And you picked up at the airport location? Yeah. Sure glad I got that insurance on that car. Sir, if you if you physically gave someone the key to the vehicle, it's not gonna be covered. 
where was okay? So they they pointed out to me that if there was damage or any loss of the vehicle, the insurance would be something that I absolutely would need. So I bought it. So I'm covered. Um, because you physically gave them the key. That's technically they're not stealing the vehicle. So you. Okay, so you think somebody you stole the vehicle? Knowingly gave someone the key. Now, I thought I could trust uh, a black guy in a polo shirt named Lysol. He seemed trustworthy to me. Are you sure you picked up from Enterprise Rental Car? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Last name is Johnson? Johnson, yep. Okay, so I'm going to have to have you pull up your email and open the, the rental contract because I'm not pulling up your name under Johnson. Okay, when do you want me to do that? Um, as soon as possible so we can try to well, figure I'm not, out... Well, I'm on my phone doing. right now. I'm talking to you. I can't get to it right now. Okay, sir. So did you want to call me back? So we can try to find this vehicle. Well, I'm here. not going to be able to pull it up. Not, like I said, I'm, I'm waiting in line. I'm almost to my gate. And they're going to make me turn my phone off. I'm not going to be able to make a call from the plane. That's just dangerous. Sir, are you in the airport still? Yeah, I'm in the airport. I'm heading to the gate. So where are you in the airport? In the gate? No, I'm heading to my gate. So how were you able to look at the car? In I was the, in line at TSA airport. when we were going through that. And then after I confirmed the car was gone, I got back in line, I passed through TSA, and I'm heading to the gate. So you were on the phone with me and going to the TSA, sir? Yes, I was. Okay, sir, so I, I'm not too sure what I can tell you then. Because when we had that brief um, pause, I put the phone you, into one of those little crates. About, and, no, listen, I may. Shut up. When we had that when we had that pause, I put my phone in the crate, it went through the x-ray, I went through the machine, and then we continued the conversation. Okay, so sir, you're still going to be responsible for the vehicle until we're able to find it, if it was stolen. If you don't know the type of vehicle that you were just in, sir, if you knowingly gave the key to someone, that's not stealing the vehicle. Well, I'm, I, didn't know, I didn't know somebody was stealing the vehicle when I gave them the key. Sir, if, if you gave your key to somebody right. in the middle of a parking lot, that's not stealing Well, he, car. he was at the you curb. I mean, him. I pulled up. I didn't just find some rando in the parking lot. You're making it seem like, like I was just giving away free cars over here like I'm goddamn Oprah. Well, sir, if you, if you gave anybody anything, if you gave it to them knowingly, that's not stealing. Just to let you know. I, I, so did, I, gave, it to, I gave it to them knowingly, so... That what that what you're trying to say to me? So it's, so it's my fault. Fu- it's my it's my fault. In this situation, I'm trying to help you find the vehicle. But by you saying that it's covered by the insurance, so it doesn't matter who has it. Well, I didn't say it didn't matter. I'm just saying I'm covered. You're not covered, sir. If you gave someone the key to the vehicle, that's not going to be covered by the insurance. Well, well, you you're not with the insurance though, so I don't know how you would know this. If you took the enterprise insurance, it's not going to cover that. Yeah, I don't understand. Then what does the insurance cover? So if you call your insurance, if you call your insurance company right now and tell them that you gave the key to somebody, and they took your vehicle. Yeah, that's not covered under that. Oh, see, that's to- that's two totally different things because I would never give a random stranger the keys to my car, my personal car. So when you rent a vehicle, it is you are taking the possession and the responsibility of the vehicle right. for the time of your rental period. Right. So you are responsible for the vehicle during your during that time. Yeah, but when I got to the airport, that time was over because I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the island. So you I'm not, not taking the car. The I'm not taking the. I'm not taking the car with me home. That would be ridiculous. I know, sir, but you didn't return the vehicle, so you are still responsible for it until it gets here. Do you do you recall anything about the vehicle that I can try to get some information about the car? Uh, it was. I, need I believe it was red. To help you to find it. Yeah, yeah, it was red. 
it was a convertible. Was it a sedan or an SUV? Uh, no, it was a sedan. I don't believe in SUV. I don't believe in SUVs. Was they was pollute it a too much. Camaro? Was it a Beetle? Was it a Mini Cooper? A uh, Camaro sounds familiar. Was it a Jeep? But it was one of those hard top uh, convertible things. Okay, so sir, I'm going to ask you to please hang up with me, look in your email for the reservation or rental agreement number, and give us a call back. I can't. I'm getting on the plane. They're getting ready to start boarding. Sir, by the time I've talked to you, we've been on the phone for 11 minutes, you could have been able to do this. I'm asking as a favor to help you to please look up this information. Who are you, Jerry Maguire? Or else I'm not able to help. Excuse me? Trying to help me help myself? Who are you, Jerry Maguire over there? Okay, sir, if you don't want my help, then you're just going to be completely... I, I never called for help. I was calling to give you notice. So you can't notify us that you're dropping the vehicle somewhere and expect us to pick it up. Well, I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing. I understand that, sir, but you're still responsible for the vehicle. No, I, I'll, board in, I'll board in just a second. This, and I, Hang on. They're yelling at me to board, and like, you're not helping me. Okay, well, I would ask you to call us back immediately, please. If you want my help, I need you to look up that information. Okay. How does a week from Monday sound? I need confirmation. A week from when, sir? Monday. I need to know before you leave this island. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm getting ready. As soon as I get off the phone with you, I'm boarding. Sir, I need you to please hang up the phone and look for this information. You hang up the phone. Okay, I'm going to hang up, sir. If you are Damn right. able to look up that information and give us a call back. I will be more than happy to help you find this vehicle. Okay, this time, so this this time a week from Monday, will you be working? This time a week from Monday, I'm sorry, the vehicle might be stolen by then. I'm pretty sure it's stolen now. Okay, so if the vehicle is stolen, you are going to be responsible for it. But to tell you the truth, I'm just trying to be an honest guy. I'm the one that stole it, but I was leaving it at the airport. Sorry, what is this? I I stole it because I needed to ride to the airport, and I've left it there. I thought the owner would be appreciative to get it back. Okay, so what are what are you trying to say? Well, I'm I'm not trying to say anything. I'm saying I stole it from the original renter. That's why I don't have any of the information you're looking for. I have to catch a flight. Because Dog the Bounty Hunter is after me, and so I left it there at the airport. Okay, Kevin Johnson, thank you so much for calling. No, no, that's not even my name. You can call me Lemon Jello.